There's a whole turf of the rolling 60s, part of the largest street gang in all of Los Angeles, a gang called the Crips. What well, it means to the community, to the community it means terrorism, but nevertheless, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to us it's just like, hey. Meet Creeper, you know, Lowdown, Little Creeper, and Mr. E. Bone. I mean, we've been on TV, we've been in the newspapers, everywhere we go we take over. It's just like we're a nightmare on somebody's like street. Like a plague. <laughs> They'd like you to believe that they're the worst thing to hit civilization since Attila the Hun. Because on these streets, reputation is everything, whether it's earned or not. Like what is? After you hear so much about it, it gets into you if it's not not already there. You know? It's like I said. Now what do you do? What do you do that makes people so fearful? <laughs> we can walk into a place and that'll make people fearful just knowing that it's rolling sixty. Name and what it carries behind it. Like uh, what does it carry behind it? It carries dirt, carries murder, carries whatever you want. Treachery. Just pure treachery. Nightmare. Is the whole thing about being who's the toughest, who's the strongest, is it that simple? I... Is that simple? It's, 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 it's like power. Yeah, it's, it's so power. power. <laughs> but doesn't being in a gang make you more of a target and more likely to be in some kind of trouble? More you can stop gang banging, you know, but you still gonna always have crip in your heart. And there's trouble wherever you go, regardless if you crip or not. That's right. Just like these innocent people that's getting shot. They just stand in crip neighborhoods or blob neighborhoods, and they getting blasted off. If you take away the difference in the colors, uh -huh. the blue and the red, you take away the difference in location, what is the difference between crips and bloods? You don't say the word blood. Why not? Because that's what they say. They, they call it slob. Right here, this means West Side Fishes, Lil Lowdown. Right here, R.I.P. means rest in peace, like my homegirl Trishy. This is Fry. Pee Wee, Speedy, Snow, Kings, Demon. You know, Kings, that's their gang. Kings Whoa. gang. That's, you know, and they cross, they cross them out. What do you mean they cross them out? They cross them out because they want to kill them. That's what they mean when they cross somebody out. They want to get this with them. This red line? Yeah, that, yeah. That, that line all the way through. Why is it important to have the graffiti? It's not, it's important. It, it's like to, to be known as a person, you know? to have your name up there as a person. That's what it is. Does it make you big? No. It just makes people real, people know who you are. You know, they roll, roll, roll by. If they look at the wall, they see your name on the wall. Oh, that's the homie. They just roll by and see the wall. That's how it is. <laughs> and often, that's all there is. Just names on a wall. The living and the dead. Neighborhood history in spray paint. <laughs> if you can notice now, the younger generation is coming up. <laughs> like my old boy said, it's little kids out there now. And the only thing they hear is rolling sixties, because that's where it's at. Numero uno. You know what I'm saying? That's where it's at. It can't stop us. I mean, how you, I mean, another person is being born every day. Don't you know that other person is a crip? <laughs> He's coming up as a crip. That's the first thing that come out of his mouth is rolling sixties. <laughs> There's kids now, you go down crying her talking about, I want to see a rolling six. That's all they know. They know rolling sixes, but they ain't no schoolwork. That's the neighborhood. That's the mentality that they're growing up with.